Welcome back. So glad that you joined me today. When was the last time that we jumped or rushed into judgment? I know probably a lot of us are laughing about that, thinking about the different times that we have. It seems to be a normal human trait to jump into anything. Whether it's right or whether it's wrong, we like just going ahead of everything and doing what we think is right. Even throughout the Bible, we see a lot of cases where a lot of our ancestors did that. But maybe it's time for us to actually stop and think about what we're doing before we do it. You know, throughout the Bible, as we continue to study, God comes back to us, reminding us that we need to sit and wait on Him. It's not for us to jump or run into anything, but it's for us to wait on Him and to learn of him and through him. Because if we're actually looking to ourselves, whether it's for judgment or salvation or for anything else, there's nothing that we can do in and of ourselves to be able to do anything. Personally, I'm thankful that throughout the Bible, God continues to give us that example that we're needing to show us not only have we gone the wrong way, but also that there is a right way to go, and that's through Jesus himself. Today's text that we're looking at comes to us from John chapter 3 and verse 17. If you remember, John chapter 3 verse 16 is a very well-known and a very recited text for a lot of us. A lot of us grew up reciting this, but we leave that alone and we don't look at the rest of the passage. 317 is very important to 316 because it says this. It says, For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Right there, it specifically paints a picture that the only way to salvation is through Jesus. The whole plan of anything was not that judgment was going to be set. What we need to remember, it was not going to be set at that moment. It doesn't mean that judgment will not come. Judgment always has its day, but that was not the time at that point in time. Jesus came to show us that there is a way to be safe and there is a way to be saved. But that's only through him. It's only through the creator himself dying for us that we are able to live eternally. That's amazing news in these times that we're living in. Because everywhere that we look, we see death, we see dying, we see destruction. We see our world tearing itself apart. But Jesus continues to come back to us, reminding us that there is salvation through him if we'll only follow and believe. Thank you again for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's word together. God bless.